The Chenab Bridge has just withstood a massive 8.0 magnitude earthquake on the lower scale. You might expect the rail deck to be heavily damaged, but surprisingly, it remains unaffected. How is this possible? The secret lies in spherical bearings. The lower part of each bearing moves with the ground, while the upper part, which supports the rail deck, remains isolated. This ingenious design absorbs seismic energy, keeping the structure intact. Another key feature is the expansion joints. These flexible joints allow controlled movement, preventing damage from thermal expansion and seismic shifts. Watching them in action is truly a spectacle, but what about the surrounding mountains? They may collapse during an earthquake, yet the Chinab Bridge's foundation remains stable. Built in Seismic Zone 5, the bridge is designed to withstand earthquakes up to 8.0 magnitude and wind speeds of 260 km per hour. Before construction began, the mountain terrain had to be prepared. The slopes range from 43 degrees to 77 degrees, making them unsuitable for direct construction. Engineers had to reshape these unstable dolomite rock formations, which weren't strong enough for a solid foundation. Excavation was the first step, using heavy machinery to refine the slopes. Pre-splitting blasting was then used. Small, controlled explosions broke the rock precisely without unnecessary damage. Grouting was employed to inject cement into cracks, strengthening the weak rock. Anchor blocks were installed, where steel rods were inserted into drilled holes, tensioned with hydraulic jacks, and secured with concrete blocks to hold the slopes together. Shotcrete was applied, spraying concrete onto rock surfaces to enhance stability further. Now, the mountain was ready to support the massive steel structure. The steel piers were erected first, but building the arch posed a significant challenge. No crane could lift such massive sections into place. Instead, engineers installed the world's longest cable crane system, spanning 915 meters, capable of lifting 35-ton segments. Each arch segment was lifted into place and secured using over 600,000 nuts and bolts. During construction, temporary cable stays supported the arches, ensuring balance. These cables were even attached to neighboring piers to prevent excessive bending forces. The most critical phase was the arch closure, where both halves of the arch had to align perfectly. Even the smallest misalignment or strong wind could make the final connection impossible. To achieve precision, engineers used hydraulic jacks to make micro-adjustments in horizontal and vertical positioning. Once aligned, the final top cord was installed, marking the official completion of the arch. With the arches now self-supporting, the temporary cables were removed and additional piers were erected above the arch to support the rail deck. You might wonder why the Chenab Bridge uses an arch design instead of simple pillars. The answer lies in efficiency. Pillars of this height would obstruct the river below and require significantly more material. The arch shape is a parabolic curve, which distributes forces evenly, making it the strongest self-supporting structure. This principle can be demonstrated with a simple experiment. A circular arch under load buckles easily, while a parabolic arch distributes weight evenly, handling more force without failing. In essence, the bridge follows the natural shape of a hanging chain flipped upside down to create a compression-resistant structure, a technique used in many great engineering feats. Once the rail deck was installed, the bridge was separated into three sections using expansion joints, allowing independent movement during thermal expansion and seismic activity. The Chenab Bridge also features a ballastless track, commonly used in high-speed railways. This design reduces dust pollution, minimizes maintenance, and increases durability. It's built to support trains traveling at speeds of up to 100 km per hour. Amazingly, even if one of the piers were to fail, the bridge is designed to remain stable, allowing trains to pass at a reduced speed of 30 km per hour. The Chenab Bridge is a historic achievement, connecting the Kashmir Valley to the rest of India by rail for the first time. Engineers overcame challenging terrain, weak rock formations, high winds, and seismic threats to build the tallest railway bridge in the world standing 359 meters above the Chenab River, 35 meters taller than the Eiffel Tower. Hats off to the brilliant minds behind this project. If you love this journey through how the 2034 World Cup in Saudi Arabia will look like, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to uncover more captivating stories. The next adventure awaits. See you there.